For over a decade, Vince Wilford terrorized quarterbacks in the AFC East. This dominating defensive tackle was a cornerstone of two Super Bowl championship teams in New England. Now Miami's Christian Wilkins is following in Wilford's footsteps as the next game's wrecking defensive tackle in the division. They can't block Vince Wilford one-on-one. -on -one. He's going to be sacked. Balls on the ground. Patriots recover the fumble. I was once a kid just with a dream, hoping that I could be in this position, talking to one of my heroes and one of the guys I looked up to. Vincent Wilford was in the right spot at the right time. Don't be good. Let's be great today. That's all I got to say. That means a lot to be able to sit down with Big Vince. The way he played the game, the way he's moved the game. I was a big fan of his growing up. I'm considered old school now, and to have the younger generation kind of pay homage to a player like me, you know, that, that means a lot. You know, I'm so excited for Christian to pick me. I love his game. I love his personality. I like how he plays the game. Play action fake back to Trunk. And got get him. pressure and got him. It's Wilkins. He is just playing at a different level, man. My guy. Big Vince, what's up, baby? What's up, man? How we doing, OG? Good, good to see you, man. All right, Appreciate first, you first thing up. we're going to start off with, out of all the people, you want to talk to this hurricane? Oh, yeah, that's what's up. You know, you got to keep it in the ACC. First of all, I'm a Massachusetts kid, so I was born and okay. raised. Yeah, exactly. So I was born and raised oh, in Massachusetts. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, so growing up for me, you know, we in Dolphins right, territory, right, 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 but right, I was right. a big, huge fan of a certain right. team up there in the right. NFL. So, you know, you're a big reason, you know, and a lot of your teammates, a lot of guys you play with are a big reason why I started loving football. You know, I definitely respected your game from day one. I, I never knew you was a yeah, Massachusetts right. guy. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, Massachusetts kid. Yo, really? Springfield, Mass, so born and raised. Well, I appreciate it, man. Like I said, you know, a lot of times, you know, the newer, newer generation, you just don't know how much they follow history and the old school players. Absolutely. You know what I'm it was an honor for me to be doing this with you because yeah. for you to think of me in that light, and when I see you play, yeah. I see so much in me because not the size wise, but the amount of energy and, and fun you have. Man. Yeah. You know, it's, it's like, it's not a job. Right, right. It's like, man, I'm just going out here doing something I love to do. No, definitely. That Absolutely. means a lot. No, and like, you know, to your point, this ain't a job for me. Like, yeah. I still play with that same energy, that passion since I was a little eight-year-old mm -hmm. kid for the first mm -hmm. time out there, just happy to put the shoulder pads yep. on. We're lucky to be in what I feel like, you know, humbly and respectfully, one of the great generations of D-tackles. Yeah. There's a lot of D-tackles yeah. now. Like, and again, because of guys like you who brought the game along, now D-tackle is a, you know, yeah. a sexy position. Yeah. A lot of people want to yeah. be a D-tackle. <laughs> yeah. Anybody can be a DN and line up and just rush the quarterback outside, but exactly. D-tackle, like, we take you so do it all. We have to do it all. Yeah. And, and, and in a short box, it's quick. What, what do you feel like, you know, it's kind of the biggest evolution of the game? And do you feel like you can do your thing still and make, you know, would you, a couple, couple more sacks a year or whatever? <laughs> How do you feel like you would fare into this game? The difference in when I played and then now is run game. Right. Back then, that's what we was built. It was like, we're going to stop the run right. and then everything else. They ain't going to beat us running the ball. But now, you know, it's a passing league. You need rushers. You can have a 280 pound D tackle. My era, it was more about physicality. Right. Like we're going to beat each other up for four quarters, and you know the score can going to be low scoring, and, and then we're okay with that. But now it's like, nah, we're not going to do that. You guys' energy level got to be so much higher than how we play because, like I said, we was more we slowed the game down. Right. See, so y'all boys, y'all going. Speaking of fast, how about Tyreek Hill? What speed! Oh my gosh. So defensively, y'all got to be ready. Y'all got to be go. ready to go. Yeah. So y'all conditioning is, is a lot different from how we were. Yeah. Could I play in this era? Yeah, if I was 280. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yes, I was going to ask. So yeah, off the record, nobody here yeah, just me yeah, and you talking. Yeah, so yeah. how much, how, you know, what were you when you were playing? When I started camp, I'll be at 325. Okay, when yeah. I started camp, you know, playing, I would be 350, okay. 355, yeah. playing like right. in November, October, November, December, because to me that was an advantage. Right. Now when it was time to weigh in, right. I'll get on the scale, I'll be 325. Right. <laughs> on that Thursday, I'll be 325. Right, right, but right, man, right. you catch me an hour after that? Yeah, it was bad. It might be, you might see, oh, you man. might want to see me to the hospital. No fines, I ain't taking yeah, no fines. I'm fun. not taking no fines. Right. But for me, it was 
the later in the season, I want to be bigger because I know, you know, guys are hurt, right. guys are banged up, and I want you to deal with it. And I'm in the cold. Yeah, yeah, and I yeah, want yeah. you to deal with every Everything. part of me you no, possibly fact. can. Because yeah. my biggest focus always was my condition. Got you. That's, what, that's, that's a number big one. guy. That yeah. was my biggest thing. Sure. So, so, but you're saying that was then. So, yeah. if you played in today's game, so now you're saying we could have seen, can't seen. Uh, maybe a 300 slim version of Vince, yeah. and they wouldn't have been ready for that. No, nah. they wouldn't have been able to handle nah. the, the off the edge. No, nah, man, you know, go hitting it and getting man, it. Man, if I was if I was 300 <laughs> at this at this stage right here, man, I'm going to get it. Right, I'm going to get it. It, it is what it is. Yeah. yeah, you ready to break down this film now? I'm ready, man. I'm ready to learn something. Ready to learn learn, I don't know. We're gonna learn. We're gonna right. laugh though. Right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> We're gonna have a good time. <laughs> All right, so right here, this was last year. Jefferson in motion. Pitch it to him. He's dropped in the backfield Christian Wilkins. by Christian Wilkins. That's one quick big man right there. So I know, like, once I see that tackle go out, yes. you know, I look back inside, and you see that guard right there. He's kind of late. Mm -hmm. He's not really, he's supposed to reach me or come out to me. He's a little late out of stance, so that's when you got to make him pay. I'm Let's like, go. Oh, yeah, give me that. That's, that's, a big that's, play. that's easy. And also, too, like, a lot of people don't understand, being in a 4-4 four, four eye, that messes with all yeah, this. Yeah, it really does. Blocking scheme. You see what I'm saying? But is he a three? Is he, he, a, exactly. is he a four? Exactly. You don't really know how to play it sometimes. Four, force the offensive line hand yeah. every chance you possibly can get. Yeah, definitely. But that's, that's a big cool. play. Yes, sir. Let's go. What you gonna do? What you gonna do? Let's yeah, go. you bringing that energy. You already know. Let them know. <laughs> Me mugging everybody. Thanksgiving, right baby. Here. Let's go. Tonight formation behind Sanchez and a mix up in the backfield. Oh. Sanchez, oh, has the ball. Oh, Down he no. goes. Patriots pick up the fumble, running into the end zone for a touchdown. So it's a double, and I got, I kind of got stuck, right? Because right. I'm trying to read and trying to split in between them, right? I got you. And not moving you though. That, no, that's not, not moving. That's we ain't not going nowhere. We're not going nowhere. <laughs> Fight pressure with pressure, right? So once Nick comes off, I know what it is. But and it was I just kind of instant. You just felt that instant, pressure yes. coming, so you're like, something's, yeah. something's back in that gap. I got to close it Because I know they weren't trying to win inside like that. Pop goes the weasel. There's that football. There it is. It's Buff like, fumble. and you know, I really never thought that this was a big of a big of a deal. Right. You know, to me, it, it really wasn't. Oh my! Vince Wilford just threw Brandon Moore into Mark Sanchez. I have never seen this before in my life. It was just one of those plays, so I really never see it. Oh, I mean, man. not a big deal. You fought off a double team, picked up the guard, threw him <laughs> right. to the quarterback for I mean, a fumble. I mean, that's all right. I mean, I've never done that. I um, think it was more bad than <laughs> Sanchez as far as did right. anything, you know? Yeah. And being in New York, yeah. they are gonna torturize him. Scoop and score. And look at, look, at, look, at this, look at this, look at the quarterback face. Uh-oh, he's on his back. He turned over like, oh man. Nah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, there you go. <laughs> so a lot of the time, you know, they don't think big guys are athletes, right? Mm -hmm. You know, so we gotta, you know, like you said, D-tackle, yes, we gotta be able to do a lot of different things. We gotta be able to rush, stop the run, and sometimes drop in coverage, too. Okay. So just take a close look. Let me, I mean, Let me you check know. you out. And an empty backfield on second and two. Pick. Intercepted right in the middle of the field. It's taken by Christian Wilkins. Oh. See, before the snap, I knew what my drop was. Right. I had to locate number two out there and everything. Okay. So I'm like, okay, you know what I'm saying? He's probably gonna do something across the middle. You know, I'm thinking all of this. But nah, this was cool. This was a this was a fun one for me. That that's a heads up play. And it's like second and two, like man, look at you, look at you. Light on your feet. Drop the coverage. Read, 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 the read. Hips, read. The hips, I you see you. You gotta see the hips. Like a swivel. Though. You got your little swivel. Yeah. Oh, but that's man. that's a heads up play, big time yeah, play, yeah, man. And, and it's drawn up exactly how it is in the books. Like yeah. it worked out perfectly for the defense right Definitely. there. Definitely. Well, let me see what I'm gonna do. Let me see. First and ten at the thirty. Intercepted. Picked up by Will Fork. He's done it again. Look at the big man. To the 49. Wait, uh, whoa, hold on. Yeah. So you did it too. Okay, you, oh, you, you, you do it too. This, this is what it is. We man. athletes in there. We athletes in there. My, my right D tackle, he took so long. We supposed to be running the game inside, but he took so long to come right. around. So the center kind of just stayed on me. So got I'm you, like, got you. But it looks like a, you almost took a drop step. Like you knew the ball was about to come out. Like you was trying to get over there, but oh, it I, looks I, like you opened up. I did a little... because I, while I'm doing this, I'm looking at the quarterback because I know he have a lane. Right. So oh, I'm trying okay. to see, okay, if he's going to hit this now, what is he doing? So I have time. Right. Everything, people don't understand how quick things happen. It's like yeah. milliseconds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So when I came around and I saw he still had the ball and he was back there, mm -hmm. and I saw it out of the corner of my eye, no, that bat checking through, <laughs> I'm like, oh, no, real, buddy. No, that's a real heads up play. Oh, now let me see, let, let me see I'm if I'm not I, tripping about the pick. Uh, the, step look, off. Look, at the, look at the, like, uh, you put a little Heisman in there with a high step. Uh, 
perfect stiff arm. I look like Henry right with there, the, man. <laughs> with a stiff arm, throws a man down. Come on, baby, you gonna work for this tackle. Oh, that's you hilarious. You gonna work for this tackle. Oh, that's hilarious. What we got here? We got some action nice uh, nice earlier nice earlier this year against the Patriots. And you know, I'm back home, you know. So back home. Mama's watching, mama's Ooh. there, so. Everybody watching. Yeah. Jones back to throw again, looking pressure, and they got him. What a play. So, That's a nice move, man. Yeah, really just, I knew it was passed, and they got a rookie guard in there. But yeah, it's time that's to all eat. I'm going to say. Oh. <laughs> it's time to eat. That's, you know how it but works. Yeah, knew the backfield set, you, you know, just read my keys, and knew it was passed. A little stab chop off the edge. Got to get skinny, got to lean, you know. That's a hell of a move, man. And, yeah. you, and the thing is, like, like you talked about earlier, we don't know how many opportunities we're gonna have in the game. You right. know what I'm saying? So it's like when you get those you gotta, opportunities, you gotta, you gotta make double. it count. And a rookie? Yeah. Man, look here. I'm gonna show you why I'm a pro. Man, that was man, that was huge, man. That, yeah, that, was, that was, brought was me like you. I was about to say, what was it like for you going back and watching some of your other stuff? Man, I mean, I know you made a lot of highlights plays in your career. You had a heck of a career, but man, it was it was it's fun, man. It's just going back, being able to sit down and look at this with you and talk to you throughout the day. It's always good to look back. Now that I'm retired, to look right. back on plays I made and did and remember what was my thought process behind it. And I can remember like what I was thinking. It was pretty good, man, to see him break bread and watch the young generation do his thing. Look, young OG. Well, it was cool to definitely <laughs> go back and look at your stuff. You know, obviously, like I said, you made a lot of plays. Yeah. So definitely a lot of fun looking at that. And, you know, I got to see a lot of those plays live because, like I said, I was yeah. a big fan of yours, um, you know, growing up watching it, uh, watching you play. Um, so it means a lot that you're definitely able to come here today and spend this time it, with man. me. You know, that, thanks for, uh, you know, all you've done for the game again. Man, I'll tell no you problem, that. Man. Thank you for moving it along. And I just hope that I could have an impact on the game like you did. That's man, right. thank you for carrying the torch, brother. All right, sounds good. Appreciate, Appreciate it, brother. Yes, Absolutely. Sir, thank you. Man.